give me $200, I gave him $200. And um, uh, for $200, uh, I bought 15%, um, uh, I think it was 20% of NVIDIA. So, so it, was, it was a good deal. <laughs> yeah, 20%, yeah. The process kind of went like this. We uh, started, my first official day of work was my 30th birthday, February 17th. And um, uh, we got the company funded. And so once we got started, the question is, what are we going to do? You know, how does it all work out? How do we start the company? And so um, we met every day, the three of us, uh, in, in one of the founders' townhouse uh, in Fremont. And, um, and we would get together, and, and there would be nothing to do. I mean, what do you do? You get three guys and get together, you just talk, you know? So, so what did you guys do last night? Uh, what, you know, what did you have for dinner? I mean, so you, you talk about that for about six months, okay? And, and the big event of the day would be, um, hey, where do you guys want to go to for lunch? And so, you know, Philly cheesesteak today or, you know, Chinese food tomorrow or whatever. That would be like a big deal. And then after a while, it was like, could you put some donuts in the fridge in the morning for when we come? And so that lasted for a few months, just the three of us like that. I know it sounds pathetic, but it's, it's, it's true. Because at that time, I'm reading about books on how to start companies and I'm trying to figure out, you know, how to go raise money and, you know, what's a venture capitalist and how do you incorporate the company and so those kind of things. Uh, pretty soon, uh, I met a, I met, a, met a lawyer, went to a, went to a law firm called Cooley Godward, and um, uh, they helped us incorporate the company. Uh, and um, uh, the amount of money that he, he, he says, um, you know, we need, we need some money from you so that we could price the shares and also to incorporate the company. So he says, how much money do you have in your pocket? I said, $200. So he says, okay, give me $200. I gave him $200. And um, uh, for $200, uh, I bought 15%, um, uh, I think it was 20% of NVIDIA. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was a good deal. <laughs> yeah, 20%, yeah. And then I went, I went back to the house and then went back to the condo, and, and uh, they, all, they both gave me $200, and they both got 20%. <laughs> and that's how it worked, literally. <laughs> it's not that much work. You know, don't, here, here's, here's the thing. NVIDIA, I never finished my business plan. <laughs> I know it. I know it. Um, we, we, it we never finished a, a business plan. Uh, never could figure out how to finish a business plan, to tell you the truth. I, I, read, I read the first three, four chapters, and I, you know, I, I got to go to work. Yeah, so, so I, I um, uh, incorporated the company. They introduced us to um, two venture capitalists, um, and I just went to their office and told them what I like to do. The thing that, that gets the company funded, and when you're uh, when you get to that point, you just have to remember a few things. VCs don't invest in in business plans because business plans are easy to write. I couldn't write it, but other people could. <laughs> right? And so, so um, they invest in this. They invest in Great people, and so the, so the question is: is do they trust you? Uh, your reputation matters, your history matters. Because I had done so much work with um, Andy Bechtelsheim, which was another graduate of Stanford, uh, of Stanford, and the founder of Sun, uh, and the, and worked with uh, the founders of Synopsis and LSI Logic. We were all very successful, and we did good work. Your reputation will precede you, even if you're business plan writing skills are, are inadequate. And the second thing is, you need to have a vision that's sufficiently large to invest in. Because they, their statistics, their probability of success is rather low. And if they need to put in $10 million, if the market's only $20 million large, they'll never get that $10 million back with, with reasonable return. But if it's a $200 billion market, then of course, it's a rather different thing. Okay, so the size of the market. And they want to know that, that um, at least there is a clever idea that the market has never never done before. So they, that last part is probably second. You, have to re, you might have to reinvent yourself over time. And if you want to reinvent yourself, you need to have great people. That's why great people are so important.